Hello, traders. Gary Wagner here. It is 12.50 in Honolulu, 6.50 in New York on Thursday, 30th day of May, 2024. And this is uh, the evening report for gold and silver. Gold futures bases the most active August contract held steady in trading today, gaining $2.40. A rise of 0.10%, taking the August contract to $2,366.50. It is trading overseas, currently fixed at $2,364.80, down $1.80 from the New York close. The fact that gold and silver prices have decoupled has been evident, and it is certainly very visible today with gold holding ground with fractional gains and silver declining today by 2.59%, meaning a decline of 84 cents per ounce, taking the most active July contract to $31.53.5. It is trading in Australia down an additional 18 cents, taking July silver to $31.35.5. The fact that gold was only up fractionally and silver was down over 2.5%. In light of dollar weakness, the dollar gave up 0.36%, taking the index to 104.78. On today's show, I do want to look at gold through the eyes of spot pricing. This is XAUUSD, Forex or spot pricing, currently at $2,344 and change. What we have noted is the fact that in terms of a support level, that has been moving higher as seen through a series of higher lows. We have had a very strong sell-off from the recent new record high to current pricing. And we've seen a reduction in the body sizes or ranges of our daily candlesticks. I do want to convert this to Ankenashi which I believe will clearly illustrate that it does seem as though this recent price decline could be in fact coming to a conclusion. As you can see, we have converted our daily candlestick chart to a Japanese average or Hankinashi. This clearly illustrates that we did have a strong downward trend as indicated by large body size and the absence of upper wicks. However, Recently, we have seen alternating candle color with extremely small bodies and wicks both above and below the real body. This tells me that the downward pressure has subsided. If we look at other corrections, such as this move up, it was really illustrated by large candle size, the absence of lower bodies. Then you got a couple of small doji candles, then a green candle, and then the color change from green to red. At first, it had reasonable strength, and that strength diminished up until the point that the market did in fact reverse and move to higher pricing. Which is why I believe we could be witnessing that again. The strength of the trend has diminished substantially. We once again have small body candles, and we could in fact see the pivot from red to green as we did here or as we did here, but that is going to be dependent on tomorrow's PCE price index report. The uh, current estimates are anticipating that inflation will show a year-over-year -year increase of 2.7%. If that is correct, it is saying that the differential between March and April was unchanged. If the report shows inflation to be hotter than anticipated, we could see gold actually move down because it would make it less likely for the Federal Reserve to cut rates sooner than later. The opposite is true. If inflation comes in cooler than anticipated, we would see gold spike higher because it would make the Federal Reserve more likely to cut rates sooner. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.